To find the derivative of sine x divided by e to the x, we simply need to use the quotient rule, since it is a quotient of functions. The quotient rule tells us that the derivative of a function f of x divided by g of x is equal to f prime times g minus g prime times f, all divided by g squared, the square of that denominator function. Now, in our problem, sine x is f, because that's the numerator, and e to the x is g, because that's the denominator. Let's apply the formula and see what we get for the derivative. Beginning with f prime, that's the derivative of the numerator. The numerator is sine x, and its derivative is cosine x. Then we multiply that by g of x, which is the denominator, so multiply by e to the x. Then subtract g prime of x, the derivative of the denominator. The derivative of e to the x is just e to the x, so minus e to the x, and that needs to get multiplied by f of x, which is the numerator, so multiply by sine x. Then divide by g of x squared. That's the denominator squared, which is e to the x squared. But by our exponent laws, that's the same as e to the 2x. So let's write it like that. Then we can factor an e to the x out of both terms in the numerator, giving us e to the x multiplied by cosine x minus sine x, all divided by e to the 2x. And finally, by our exponent laws, we can move the e to the x that's in the numerator to the denominator by just subtracting the exponents. So in the numerator, we'll just have cosine x minus sine x, and in the denominator, we'll have e to the 2x minus x, because we brought this e to the x in the numerator down. Now, that's just exponent laws. e to the 2x minus x, though, of course, is just e to the 1x, and so we're left with this simplified expression. The derivative of sine x over e to the x is cosine x minus sine x divided by e to the x. And if you prefer to write that not as a fraction, you could bring the e to the x up as e to the negative x, and then just multiply that by cosine x minus sine x. But either way, that's how you take the derivative of sine x over e to the x using the quotient rule. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 1 exercises playlist in the description for more. <laughs> I'm a secular and aesthetic from my own